four yards, well struck. And control of the football, switching hands here with very little time remaining in this contest. The Dolphins at the line, ready for their next drive. They have a little bit of time here to get into field goal range. Not much. In a tie game, you don't want to do anything crazy, right? I agree with you on that one. Risk reward, okay? If you go for it. It got his man complete. It's a gain of 35. And we will get a timeout with two ticks left. The big play has him all the way out near midfield for a first and 10. Looking to throw. Vaughn. He'll take a shot for the end zone. And that is incomplete. Showed off the arm strength there, but to no avail. Second down. It's a little teaching moment here. Overtime rules. Remind us how this goes, partner. Okay, so in the past, we had sudden death. First team to score wins, but no longer. Now, if the team receives the ball, scores a touchdown, they win the game. If they kick a field goal, though, or don't score, the other team gets a possession. And after both teams get a possession, then we're into sudden death. First team to score wins the game. So we're right back where we started. All even as the kick's away. This is fielded at the goal line. And he'll get it up past the 20 to the 22-yard line. The New York offense taking over for their next possession. And right now, these guys, they're shuffling a little bit, maybe doubting, because three straight drives have ended with them putting the football away. Yeah, so you start pointing fingers at each other a little bit, asking a lot of questions. What are you seeing? What are you getting? Maybe trying to narrow down your playbook a little bit and maybe get simpler rather than more complex in order to try and fashion together a drive. Darnold, his first throw in overtime. That'll be taken in by Anderson. Catch number 44 on the year. It's a first down. Charles, you get into these overtime situations, that's not a bad guy to dial into. Well, when you have to have plays, especially in a spot as you just described, we're at OT, you've got to go to the guys you can trust and you know are going to make the plays. Well, they say, it's not the X's and the O's, it's the Jimmy's and the Joe's. 14 yards is the pick up there and a jet first down. So now first and 10 as they've crossed into Miami territory at the 42-yard line. Darnold throwing complete to Crowder. And he'll be stopped at the 35, but not before he picks up seven yards. Seven yards, the pickup on the pitch and catch. Two minutes left in this overtime session and still all tied. Darnold off the play fake to Bell. That's complete. It's Bell. And he'll lose yardage on the play back at the 37-yard line. He'll wind up losing a yard on the play, and that'll lead here to a third down. It's third and four. Big play here. Try to keep this opening drive of overtime alive. He finds his target. It's Crowder. And he picks up the first before he's taken down at the 29. Yeah, they just keep marching right along. First down on a pickup of eight there. On first down, Bell. And he'll get about four as he's brought down at the 24. And I know you, with every carry, especially in overtime, you're just saying, if you're that ball carrier, hold on to the football. Hold on to it, protect it, but not necessarily settle it because you're trying to get to the end zone. You're trying to end the game right here. And I know the defensive guys, poking, clawing, raking, trying to knock the ball free and protect their end zone. Yeah, like you alluded to, especially this part of the field. From the 24, Darnold. Herndon's got it complete. And he'll be brought down at the 21, just shy of the 20 in the red zone. The eighth play of the drive coming up. It's third and three. They'll try and run for it with Bell. That is not going to be any help as they dump him behind the line of scrimmage. Now a second timeout called for by the defense. 